rocket science. It's fun, it's creative, and it's something that's so easy to do and adds a little bit of pizzazz to your schedule. So come join me. Hi, thanks so much for dropping by today. Today we are making a super cute calendar made out of a picture frame and paint swatches. All you'll need is a dry erase marker and whatever color scheme you'd like. So let's go. So the first thing you'll need is a picture frame. I've already cleaned my glass. You can go as fun as you'd like to or with classic black like I chose to. Then choose what kind of color swatches you like. You want at least uh, five swatches of color on each strip. Uh, but the more the merrier. Just whatever will fit. Some of them may need to be trimmed, but you can make it work. The ones I'm working with today are Glidden brand paint swatches, and I just picked these up at Walmart. These are all free, so you can just mix and match however you'd like. You could do all the colors of the rainbow. You could do all shades of a certain color like I kind of did. You could just go crazy and be creative. The key is you want at least seven swatches. I wanted to go for nine so I could also have, so I could have one for each day of the week as well as some for the month and different notes. So that'll make a little bit more sense as we go along. It's not rocket science. It's fun, it's creative, and it's something that's so easy to do and adds a little bit of pizzazz to your schedule. So I have arranged my paint samples in the order that I want them. Now I'm just going to turn them upside down and arrange them on my frame. Now my Glidden paint sample strips fit perfectly in my 11 by 16 frame, which is awesome. So now I'm just going to tape them to one another, just a little dab of tape, just to make sure they stay put. We don't need much tape, just enough to keep them from wiggling. We don't want our calendar moving around on us. Now I'm going to use these other two pieces that I have and I'm just going to overlap them and use them along the top for the month of the year and maybe a little notations or goal setting and things like that just for a fun little extra dash of color. Likewise, I will tape those. So everything is very well taped. Now I will just put the back on, flip it over, and start to fill in the gaps.
we have filled in our calendar with the month and the days of the week and the dates. Now I'm on to step two. I have to fill this in with all of my to-dos. Now what I have decided that I'm going to do is now that we have entered summer vacation for most across the country. Anyone with kids certainly is definitely in countdown mode if they're not already on vacation. My kids will be out of school on the 6th and I'm really looking forward to that, spending a little bit of extra time with them. But also I'm looking forward to the more beautiful weather outside and hopefully a little bit more time on my hands to be able to play and get a little bit, little bit more fitness in. So, what I am going to use my calendar for is something that I am calling the 500 calorie a day burn. So I'm going to use this as my workout calendar. Now the thought behind the 500 calorie a day burn is that it's so easy to even whenever you're very good about going to the gym every day or going to work out or going for a run or going for a walk, it's so easy to go to the gym, have a great workout, burn 150 calories, maybe 200, and then go and treat yourself because you earned it with something from sweets or dessert after dinner or something like that. And I do it myself all the time where I'll have a great workout and then I'll say, Oh, I deserve that. I had a good workout and I burned extra calories today. So then I wonder why my body remains the same and it doesn't change as, as much as I would like to see it change. So, my goal for this summer, from the time that my children get out of school till about three months from now when they go back to school, is to burn 500 additional calories from exercise every day. Now even if I just do it five days a week, that is just going to be a huge difference in the way my body looks and my body feels and people are going to be able to see it and I'm going to know why it happened. Because I worked a little harder, took that extra step and did my best to really burn. So join me with my summer burn feel free, friend me on Facebook, Indomondo, MyFitnessPal, all of those places. Everything's down in the description bar. Join me on my summer calorie burn and now I'm going to fill in my workouts on my Zooty new calendar along with some goal reminders and things like that so that I'm always remembering what it is that I'm working towards whenever I look at my calendar every day to see what it is I'm doing for my workout that day. A really cool new calendar. I have a plan in place for my summer 500 calorie a day burn and I'm ready to go. Join me won't you? Thanks so much for joining me today for this fun tutorial and hopefully even for the 500 calorie a day summer burn. Bye!